stay. Good boy. Come on. Okay, good. You good? Good. Easiest questions first. Just say, spell your name, what troop you're with, your rank, and then your dog's name as well. Okay. Trooper Joshua Taylor, J-O-S-H-U-A-T-A-Y-L-O-R. I work out of Troop T, SP Newburgh. And this is Rado, R-A-T-O. Talk about his namesake, because all, all dogs, all of our dogs are named after fallen troopers. Yes, correct. Uh, Rado is named after Salvatore Amorado, who was killed in a motor vehicle accident on the New York State Thruway. Uh, what's interesting about his name is the handler that worked out of my station prior to me, his first dog, he used Embar as his dog's namesake, or name, excuse me. Uh, so I just took the last letters of Emberado and we put it together, you know, so. Uh, Salvatore's had two dogs now uh, out of my station named after him, so. But talk a little bit about, did you always want to be a handler? This is a lifelong dream for me. This is something I've wanted you know, as a kid, since a kid. You know, some kids want to be cops and firemen. I wanted to be a canine cop, so. So it's kind of like the realization of a dream today. A dream come true, yes, absolutely. Talk a little bit about the training, you know, 20 plus weeks. What were some of the challenges that you guys went through that maybe you didn't expect? Well, there were day-to-day uh, -day challenges. Uh, one thing was you woke up in the morning, never knew what to expect. Um, a lot of the challenges just getting to know your dog, learn your dog, and being able to work with your dog. Uh, him trust me, me trust him, and there, there, there's a fine line that we had to find before, uh, before obviously we get deployed, and, and we, were, we were able to do that. How long do you think that kind of took you guys, just to be able to kind of get to know him and be able to read him? And uh, To be honest with you, we're still working. I mean, every day, every day is, is a challenge. Uh, it's always a constant, uh, you know, work. Um, but you know, as far as reading him and you know him and I working together, w we function pretty well at this point. Um, but it's always, it's every day is something new. And you had a big second day at work where you assisted uh, New Paltz police. You were called in to help them, and a suspect in a robbery had already been taken into custody. But you guys went out and did a track following. Yeah, I was contacted by the New Pulse Police Department and requested to come up and do a track for an individual that had just done a smash and grab style robbery at a jewelry store on Main Street. Uh, we responded, Rod and I responded. When we had gotten up there, the guy was in custody, the suspect was in custody. However, there was a lot of the proceeds still missing. Um, so what Rod and I did is we went to the location where the officer that had been in a foot pursuit lost sight of him. And that's where we conducted our track from. During the course of the track, oh, Rado was just taking me in, in a direction where the, the where the suspect was fleeing, and we located uh, items of clothing, and we located a substantial amount of diamonds that had been taken. Uh, he, he literally picked the diamonds up, and you know I had to make him drop them. And then I made the inquiry as to you know if the diamonds were wrapped in white paper, and sure enough, they were. So. It was impressive, you know, it was all part of the, once again, another training thing that we have to do is, is trust your dog. And I trusted my dog and he brought me to where we needed to be. So it was, it was a good win for us. So they do tracking, you know, I know you guys do obedience work and everything. What is he specifically trained for, narcotics or for explosives? Uh, narcotics detection. Yep. Okay. Anything else you think is important to add about him, about your training? Uh, th this experience has been one of a kind. Uh, it's great. We had great instructors. Um, it was a great time. A lot of new guys, and uh, it was quite the learning experience. Glad to be on the road. Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. Do we have more questions? That's it. Cut. All clicker. All right. The easiest, the easiest question is first. Your name, spell it for me. Your rank, and where you're stationed out of. All right. And who this is. My name is Brennan Keeler. B R E N N A N. K-E-E-L-E-R. I am a trooper out of SP Poughkeepsie. And who is this? This is Juna. What is she trained in? Juna is trained in explosives and tracking and handler protection. Talk a little bit about the past kind of 20 weeks, what it's been like for, for the two of you going through the training. The past 20 weeks, it's been fun, yet it's been in rigorous training. Uh, it's definitely been educational and obviously rewarding. A little bit about her personality. She seems, I mean, all the dogs are kind of, they have that high play drive and they, they want to work, but talk a little about her and her personality. Yeah, Juna's personality is she's definitely got a very high play drive. Uh, she's very energetic. 
yet she's very good at what she's done, and the training has made her even a, a better canine. How long have you wanted to do this? Is this kind of like a career dream for you? Yeah, as soon as I came on the state police uh, back in January 2007, I knew I wanted to be a canine handler, and uh, here I am today. What are you looking for? You guys have been out on the road. What's that been like for you for the past, you know, couple weeks? It's been rewarding. Uh, it, it's definitely been an experience, and I think having a canine is the most rewarding uh, job one can have. And you have, I mean, the, little, the one thing that you can talk about a little bit is, Sit. or we've heard, you know, the bond that you have with the dog. Was that something instantly that you had, and or how long did it take? And, and kind of describe that bond that you have with her. Yeah, there was a pretty much an instant bond. However, uh, as time goes on, it definitely gets better. Um, she's definitely um, still, let me back that up. <laughs> but what, I mean, talk a little bit about the bond. It was, you said it was instant. Yeah, there was definitely an instant bond and she, she's, very, uh, she's a very rewarding dog and she's, uh, she's definitely adapted to the family. That was my next question. You know, this is a dog that comes in and, and, li and lives with you because of her training method. How has it been to have her yep. at home? Uh, it's been very good. She, she's very good with the family. She's very good with uh, the, the four girls and my wife. She's she gets along well. She fits right in. I guess and, you know anything else that you want to add about the training, um, about her, about finally being out there. Graduation I, day. Uh, again, it's something I've always wanted to do and. Uh, the training was definitely very uh, uh, vigorous training, yet uh, one of the most rewarding. She's behind the curtain. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? She's very energetic. <laughs> Juna. <laughs> Juna. You are a good girl. <laughs> you are. <laughs> All right. Okay, Jay, easiest questions first. Okay. Just say and spell your name for me, where you're stationed out of dog's name and uh, my name is Trooper J. Hoy, H-O-Y, and I work out of the State Police Barracks in Warsaw in Wyoming County, and my dog's name is, her name's Canine Harris. And all you have to do, look straight at me. Okay. You don't even have to look at the camera. Just okay. Like we're a sure, just one-on-one. -on -one. Yep, exactly. Okay. Just talk a little bit about the training that you guys had over the past, you know, 20-some-odd weeks. Yeah. Challenging, you know, yeah. what, it, what, it, what was the most challenging part for you guys? Um... Probably the most challenging part, I think. I mean, she's a narcotic dog, but the most challenging thing, I think, is uh, is the tracking portion of it because uh, the dog, you know, it, you know, like one of the instructors put it, it's just kind of magic how the dogs track. And uh, and I guess the hard part is is that sometimes they're on the track and sometimes they're off the track and sometimes they'll take you for a walk and you know f you never find the bad guy and that's frustrating. But dogs have bad days and good days just like we do, and uh, you know, but you just overcome and you, you go back to where you last had the scent and you continue where you left off. And they always find the bad guy, but it's just frustrating when you, know, you lose the track. That's probably the most, the hardest thing to do, I think, out of all, everything that we do. Because we do detection, drug detection, and tracking, and handler protection, and building searches. And I would say that's probably the hardest thing is tracking. How was your uh, relationship with her? You know, how did that grow? Was it something that was instant, or did you have, were you still getting to know each other? Or? I would say now we're, we've got a pretty good bond. You know. I, by the third day of the school, we were, she was mine, and you know, as you always with a new dog, you know, they don't, she don't know me and I don't know her, and we go home and you know she meets my family for the first time, and my other dog, and my wife just had a baby a week ago, so now that's new, but uh, she's one of the family. I mean, she's like a kid, you know, and uh, we love her to death, and uh, but the best part is that she's my partner. She goes to work with me every day, you know, so it's it's a it's a great relationship, you know. She. She knows what she's supposed to do, and you know I, I treat her with all the respect and love I can. And talk a little bit about is it something that you've always wanted to do, or it is. Yeah, I've I've been wanting to be a cannon handler. I've been on the job 13 years, and I've always wanted to be a dog handler. And I finally, my fourth tryout, I finally got it, and you know here we are. You know, so it's it's you know everything it, it, everything's all the stars aligned correctly because like I said, my wife just had a baby, and now we got the dog, and it's, it's like everything's what meant to be. You know. And what is it kind of like to finally get to this day? It's a long, it's a long 20 weeks, you know, and it's hard, you know, uh, we live out in Buffalo, so it's a long trip back and forth, and, you know, it's, it's hard on uh, the family, you know, I mean, you got a lot of people back home that are pulling for you, not, not only my family, but my coworkers and the other agencies I work with, everybody's very excited and happy, but um, it's challenging, yeah, it's challenging going back and forth and leaving your family, and, you know, but 
but I kind of got a new family. All the other 12 guys I graduated with today, you know, they're all my new, my new brothers, you know. So it's good, though. It's good. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations to you there, Ash. Yeah. You did okay. You did great. You good? You good. The easiest questions first. Just say, spell your name, where you're stationed out of, and introduce your family and partner. Okay. My name is Benjamin Dodge. I work in Machias in Troop A in Western New York. This is my partner, Corbett. And what is Corbett trained in? He's trained in explosives, building searches, tracking, and handler protection. Talk a little bit about your training. It's been 20 plus weeks of it's a been lot of work. It's been 20 weeks of a lot of work and a lot of travel. But uh, he did very well, and uh, we're happy to be home and uh, on the road where we belong. And talk a little bit about, and he can go wherever he's happy, it's fine. Okay. Talk a little bit about just what do you think was some of the more challenging parts of, of the school for you guys? Uh, most challenging would, uh, hmm. you talk, I mean, there's all different types. You're, you train sense, you train obedience. You know, he's, he's young. Yeah, probably the hardest thing with him is uh, the fact that he is so young. He's only 19 months, and he is into absolutely everything just like a little kid. So it's been a challenge for you to try, probably just to get him to focus. It, it has been, yes. Talk a little bit about you know your career. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Yeah, I've always been interested in the canine program. I've got ten years on uh, just recently, and uh, it's taken uh, it's been quite a process to get to get this far. And you've you've been out on the road since November. Yes. Talk a little bit about what it's been like for you guys out there. What you've been a part of so far. We've uh, we've been called out a couple of times to do some weapon searches, which is uh, when I say is ex explosive detection that uh, makes them. He's not one-dimensional. A lot of our training is uh, finding spent shells or weapons, and we've been called out a few times for that already. Rewarding, you know. I, very. I kind of talk about very. Where, el where else can you get a partner like this that is uh, unconditional, always by your side no matter what, and uh, always ready and willing to work? What's today like? You know, fine. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. Well, he knows the word work. <coughs> Come here. Talk a little bit about Sit. today, though. What's today mean? You after. Today is the, the final step in a, in a long road, and uh, we're, we're happy to be here. Okay, that's right. Okay, come on, buddy. You did good, buddy. Come here. Look straight at me. Okay. I don't have to look at the camera. All right, we'll stay. Stay. Easiest questions first. Okay. Just say, spell your name, where you're stationed out of, and introduce us to your canine partner. Sure. My name is Mark Buzzard. I'm a trooper out of Espionida. It's spelled M A R K B U Z Z A R D. This is uh, Trooper Wilder. And what is Trooper Wilder trained in? Trooper Wilder is trained in narcotics detection. He's trained in uh, tracking of individuals, whether it be um, people that we're looking for or missing children. He's also trained in handler protection. Talk a little bit about what it took you guys to get here. 20 weeks of training probably went through a few challenges. Yeah, it's a pretty intense school there. At, uh, it's, it's all held at SP Cooperstown which is a, uh, a, a place run just for the dogs. It's, it's just a canine school just for the state police. Um, there's outside agencies that are also there. It's uh, some pretty intense training for 20 weeks. Basically, we started off uh, uh, just doing PT, PT training, which is physical training just for the individuals that show up there. And then uh, a few days into it, you end up getting your canine partner, which is uh, hand selected by Trooper Brewer. Um, once we, come here, come here, buddy. Come here, come here sit, good boy, stay. Once you get the uh, once you get your canine partner, then your training actually begins with him, and uh, it's it's very intense both physically and mentally. You're away from home for you know five months of your life. You know all of us have families, um, so we're away. We're down there, and uh, like I said, it's it's very challenging. Talk about your <coughs> the bond that you have with him. Was it something that was instant, or did you guys have to kind of work to get to get there? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. there you go. Sit, 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 stay. Stay, good boy. No, Wilder here. He was uh, he was tough at first. He he was a hard dog when I first picked him up. Um, I had a different dog when I first started. That dog had an eye problem. He couldn't make it through the school. So day like six, I was sent out to Buffalo to pick up Wilder. Um, when I picked him up, he growled at me the entire way back to Cooperstown. Wouldn't let me anywhere near him. When I got there, <clears throat> I went in and told the instructors, "Hey, I've got this dog, and he, he won't let me even help get him out of the car." So with that, they came out and gave me a hand getting him out of the car, but he was, uh, he was out of control when I first got him. So it took about a week for us to bond, and now he's my best friend. If I leave the room, he's, 
whining at the door, scratching, trying to come out. And uh, he's very smart. He can open the doors and come get me. So he's a good dog. Talk a little bit about what it's meant for you to get to this point. Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Have you always wanted to be a canine handler? <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, this is a dream come true for me. I've been trying to be a canine handler uh, throughout my entire career. This is what I've been training for. And this is what, what I've been hoping to get. So what's today like for you? Uh, it's, it's joyous. I can't wait to graduate. It's a very, very joyous day for me and Wilder. And you're out on the road already? I am, yes. So I, I talk a little bit about what it's been like so far for you guys out there. And <clears throat> um, well, we just graduated from the school, and we've been sent back, obviously, because of the time lapse between graduation and at the school. <clears throat> we've already been out on patrol. We've been handling complaints. Um, he's very car aggressive, so I've made several arrests, put the guys in the car, and, and uh, he's loudmouthed to him the whole way back to the station. But uh, no, it's been, a, it's been good out on the road. He's already found some drugs in cars. You know, like I said, he's narcotics trained, so he's out there searching, and he wants to go to work every day. When we wake up in the morning, he's begging at the door to get in the car, and uh, if I let him out to go to the bathroom, he's running in the car. He, he, I've got to drag him away from the car, so he's excited to go to work, and when I put him in the car this morning, he thought we were going to work. He's disappointed we're here. <laughs> You're happy, though. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh yeah. Very yeah. Simple yeah. Dogs. You're perfect. Pretty simple. I'm just going to ask you questions about your training, about the dog. Okay. Um, so what, is this your first dog? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is my first dog. You're good. Yeah. Easiest questions first, though. Okay. Just say and spell your name for me. Where you're stationed, that way you know I know. Okay. And then introduce us to your canine partner. Well, my name is Christopher Mang. Uh, you want me to spell it? Spell it, please. Yep. C H R I S T O P H E R. Uh, last name Mang. M A Y. I am stationed out of Troop C, uh, SP Sydney, out of the headquarters building. And this is my partner, Skiff, which is named after James Skiff. And what is, with Skiff, what is he trained in? Uh, he is trained in uh, explosive detection, and, um, tracking, he can track missing people or uh, fugitives that we're looking for. Talk a little bit about the training, what some of the challenges were for, for you two. Uh, the challenge was actually uh, gelling together as a team, um, getting on the same length, uh, making sure you, you can read each other, um, make sure that he's he's on his sense and come on, bud, sit. Um, doing the right thing. That's that's the most frustrating part of it. A lot easier now to read him now that you're oh, out on patrol. Oh, definitely, and... definitely. After spending five months training with him, uh, you can definitely tell when he's when he's on and what he's looking for, and we uh, work well together now. Definitely. I've always wanted to do this since the military. I used to be a military police officer, and I, I always want to do it. Um, and this is the detail I have always wanted. So it, it was a dream come true, basically. He doesn't know, really know what's going on today, but what no. is it like for you to finally be here and be able to graduate? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's a great honor um, being part of the tradition um, and just to get a new partner and um, have him always by my side. It's great. Rewarding, I would think. Very, very rewarding. Okay. Anything else you can think of? Anything you want to add about him, about your training? Nah. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Perfect. Thank you. Great. We'll get you on buttons. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Easiest okay. question <clears throat> first. Just say and spell your name and where you're stationed out of. Uh, Jonathan Gardner, J O N A T H A N, Gardner, G A R D N E R, and I'm out of Painted Post. Okay. And just what's it been like, <clears throat> you know, I guess. Uh, this is my partner Wheeler, named after Sergeant Harry J. Wheeler. And what's Wheeler trained in? <coughs> He's uh, trained in tracking, handler protection, and uh, explosive detection. And he doesn't want to sit with us. No, he doesn't sit still very much. Talk a little bit about just kind of what the training's been like for you all over the past 20 weeks or so. Um, it, it's been intense, but it's also been great. Just, I mean, he's been by my side, except for right now, for the last five months, uh, really bonding. Um, Really, he whines if I go in another room and things like that. Um, I mean, both phys physically and mentally, for both of us, I guess. Uh, lots of like hikes and getting used to. I mean, I've been around dogs my whole life, but this is a little different situation. Different form. But what it, what is it like <coughs> that bond? Wheeler, come here, bud. Good boy, sit. What's it been like 
for the bond? You know, everyone talks about the bond that you guys have. Was that something that was instant for you, or did you guys have to work with that? Um, it, it came along pretty fast. Um, probably within a couple of days. And then, like I said, if I, if I leave the room, he sits there at the door, whines, and uh, so. But, but I mean, we we attached pretty fast. Which is good. I guess talk a little bit about what you think the most challenging part of your training was. Um. Yeah, I mean, 20 weeks, yeah. that's a lot. I mean, is there anything that sticks out, or was it pretty simple? His thing that usually was not simple at all. It wasn't simple. I mean, it's just it's just overall everything. I mean, we're, we're learning how to be trainers, and then at the same time training the dogs. Um, I mean, I'm lucky he had a little work. The, the lady that donated him had done some things with him, so his obedience and things like that were, were good, and she had done uh, some different uh, bite work and stuff like that, but um, the detection and just getting that, that connection with them. You were lucky that you didn't have to start from scratch then. Yeah, yeah. And talk a little bit about being out in the road. <clears throat> you know, you're, you're already out there, you've been out there since November or so. Uh, it's definitely a different experience, um, having him in the car. Uh, I've just been, I've been on the road for about a week now, and uh, just different day-to-day -day stuff. But as you can see, he, he, he doesn't like to sit still for very long, so we, we stop a lot so he can run around and uh, just try and work with him during the day. And, so we, so he is ready if we do get called. And what's it like, you know, to finally have this day for you? He could care less about graduation day, but what's it like for you to finally have it's, this day? It's, it's good for me and my family. My, my father was a canine handler for, for 24 years. Come here. As you can see. He was a canine handler for with the state police for 24 years. So, I mean, it's something I've always been around and, and, and dreamed of doing. So it's, it's just great to finally be here. You did great. Come here. Oh, shoot.